Hello, to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making something so decadent and delicious. You're going to want to sit down, watch carefully, go on over to the website, print the recipe out, and make it a ASAP. Today we're going to be making spanakopita dip. It's going to be warm and cheesy and creamy and delicious, and it's keto friendly. So anyone on low carb diet can really enjoy this one. Now you can serve this for a party, as an appetizer. If you want to serve it for dinner, who am I to judge? Let's get started. So we're going to start off with one big onion that I've chopped. In the pan it goes with some olive oil and it's cooking over medium heat. We're going to cook this until it's nice and soft and golden. That's going to take about seven, eight minutes or so. The onions are ready. So we're gonna need three garlic cloves that are grated. I've already grated all of my garlic in this and I freeze it. There's a video of how to do that up in the card section. You can just click on it. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon because there's never too much garlic in food around here. So you're just gonna warm it through because once it's ground or finely minced or grated, garlic can burn quickly. So you don't wanna keep it in here for too long. Next, we have one and a half pounds of roughly chopped baby spinach leaves. Now I'm gonna add them in a few batches and I'm just gonna cook them down until they wilt. And we're gonna cook this over medium high heat so that way as much of the liquid that the spinach releases evaporates. Okay, so this is what the spinach is gonna look like once it wilts down, a whole bunch comes down to just a little bit. It is gonna still have some liquid, don't try to dry it all off. That liquid is gonna be nice because it's gonna make the dip nice and juicy. So transfer this into the bowl. And then to this, I'm gonna add cream cheese. I use full fat cream cheese. I'm not a fan of low fat cheese because it's naturally meant to be creamy and have that fat that it needs to make it taste good. So put that cream cheese in there. I like to put it in while the mixture is really hot so that way it helps it melt. And go ahead and break it up with your spatula so that way it incorporates. Ah, smelling so good already. If there are a few chunks of cream cheese left, do not worry about it. Next, we're gonna add feta cheese in here. Now we have eight ounces of uh, cream cheese. I'm putting in eight ounces of feta cheese. If you've been here long enough, you know that I never buy already crumbled feta cheese. That's not good quality. I like to buy the block and it takes two seconds to crumble it yourself. And if you find that the block is a little bit briny, you can take it and once you cut the piece that you want from it and just run it under warm water to rinse some of that brine off. That's a nice trick. Next, I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of dried dill. If you have fresh dill, go ahead and chop up about three, four tablespoons and put it in there. Mix everything up. Also gonna season with some black pepper and some crushed red pepper flakes for heat if you like it. And now I have mozzarella cheese. This is six ounces of mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna put half of it in here and I'm gonna mix it all up. And the rest I'm gonna leave for the top. If you're wondering why the mozzarella cheese in, is in little cubes, I like to buy big blocks of mozzarella cheese at Costco or at any like big box store. Then I go ahead and I slice it into squares or whatever and I put it in Ziploc bags and keep it in the freezer. That way the mozzarella cheese doesn't go bad. And then you could go ahead and grate that, but I like to cut it into cubes. I had some leftover grated mozzarella cheese from before that I had also on hand. <laughs> we made some pizzas the other day. So I'm using both. Now I'm gonna set this aside just for a second and I'm gonna roughly chop two roasted red peppers that are from the jar. These are gonna add nice, smoky, tender sweetness. And I'm gonna give it a little taste to make sure that the seasoning is right. Best part of cooking. Oh my God. It's tasting delicious. Now. So I have an eight inch square baking pan. You can use a round baking pan, whatever you have. And I'm gonna transfer all the whole mixture into the baking pan. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna to top this with the rest of the mozzarella cheese after I flatten it out a little bit. Yum. Of course, you can put some herbs on top of this if you wanna put some oregano, basil, parsley, dill, whatever you want. This is gonna go into the 425 degree oven and it's gonna bake for about 25 minutes. Then I'm also gonna turn the broiler element on for the last two or three minutes so it can get bubbly and get really good color. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. The spanakopita dip came out of the oven and it's bubbly and it smells amazing. I did turn on the broiler for the last two minutes and it got really nice and golden. The cheese on top that is got really nice and golden. 
The thing about this dip is it's really good if you let it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes before you serve it. Otherwise, it's going to be piping hot, too hot for anyone to eat without burning their mouth. Let it sit. Mine is super hot right now, as you can tell. Look at it. It's creamy, it's cheesy, and it's moist and delicious. Serve this with some pita bread or with the delicious breadsticks we made the other day. If you want to learn how to make the breadsticks, make sure you click on the card at the end of this video. It is time to take a bite. And I'm going to start with the pita bread, actually. Mmm. So delicious. I got a bite of that roasted red pepper, and it's really nice and just tender and smoky. The spinach makes this so creamy along with all the cheeses. It's going to be a winner for in your house for sure. The recipe, as always, is going to be on the website, dimitrisdishes.com, as well as in the description box down below. Click over here so you can learn how to make the breadsticks, and I'll see you right over there. Yes,